Hi there and welcome to another video of gtmtraining.com with me Julian and today we want to discover how to install Google Tag Manager onto a Magento shop system. As always these videos are brought to you by my Udemy course on Google Tag Manager where I explain the essentials of Google Tag Manager and make you ready to use this tool effectively. So if you want to check that out head over to gtmtraining.com slash YouTube. Now today we're going to talk about how to integrate Google Tag Manager, the free tag management solution from Google, onto the very popular si shop system Magento. And obviously this makes a lot of sense for e-commerce companies who have Magento running or any other e-commerce companies to use Google Tag Manager because it makes the organization of tracking codes much easier and those can be a lot on shop systems such as retargeting, different web analytics tracking or other JavaScript codes that you might have on your page. And there are basically two ways to install Google Tag Manager. One is the manual way and one, the other is plugins. And I won't go into the manual approach too much, but it's safe to say that you can insert the GTM snippet directly into the template without installing any outside plugin onto your store. And really any Magento developer should be able to do this. Just a friendly reminder here, you need to place the GTM snippet beneath the opening body tag. So not in the head, it won't do you any good if you insert that into the head directly in the back end of your Magento store, you need to place it beneath the opening body tag and there is no field for it in the admin section of your Magento store. So you need to get a developer to build that into the template if you don't want to use a plugin. Now plugins are much easier to use obviously and we'll take a look at how to install this right now. So here we are in the Magento Connect store. You can just access this by going to Magento Commerce and going to the Magento Connect section and here obviously you can search for different plugins and there are different plugins already out there for Google Tag Manager and I played around with a few of those and they all do the basic thing of installing the Google Tag Manager code beneath the opening body tag. So that is something that is working with any plugin out there. I would just pay attention to the data layer integration. That's the real difference between all these plugins. So there are highly rated plugins out there, but all they do is basically build in the Google Tag Manager code without providing a pre-built data layer functionality. And this pre-built data layer might be important if you want to do something like the e-commerce tracking in your store or dynamic remarketing, then it would be useful if the plugin already provides the data in the data layer so you can port it over to Google Tag Manager. So there are different plugins out here. This one is by Slurks and it features the remarketing and transaction capability with the data layer. So you can set that up within Google Tag Manager. This one is also very popular by ShopGo. Here you can only put in the container ID and we have one by Jiro here, which is also just the container ID. So it just adds Google Tag Manager to your site, but doesn't pre-build any data layer functionality for you, which I would expect from a good Google Tag Manager plugin. So let's go ahead and install this Slurks plugin. Let's click here on install now and agree to the extension terms. Then we can select this key and copy it. Now all we have to do is go over to our admin section of our Magento store and then under systems, we can go into the Magento Connect Manager and there we can paste our code in and install the plugin. Once that is done, then we will return to our admin section and we'll be able to access the new panel under the system configurations. And we have here a new Google Tag Manager panel that we can configure. 
Now just a word of warning, if you see a 404 error page here, you need to log out and log into your admin again because the admin section needs to be rebuilt or reboot in order for this to work. Now once you are on this panel, you can easily install your Google Tag Manager code by enabling this functionality and inserting your container ID, which of course you can find in your Google Tag Manager account. And up here we can see our GTM container ID, which we can simply copy and paste into the admin section. And when we save this configuration, and also flush our caches. And then go to our page, of course, our front end and reload the page. We now see that Google Tag Manager is installed in our tag assistant by Google. We can also, of course, make sure by going into the page source and looking for the tag manager script. Here we go. And it is installed beneath the opening body tag, which is the right position. Now with the plugin that we have installed right here, We can also configure the data layer, which will give us the ability to enable dynamic remarketing and the e-commerce tracking within Google Analytics. But be aware that once you enable those features, you still need to do configurations within your Google Tag Manager account. But that's for another tutorial video that I will release soon here at gtmtraining.com. So that's it for this week's video. If you liked it, please give us a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel. And if you have any questions or concerns or suggestions for new videos, then please post them into the comment section of this video. I'm Julian, till next time. Now let's dive into our today's topic, which is custom HTML tags. And once we log into our Google Tag Manager account, we can see the tag option of custom HTML tags once we open up a new tag down here in the section under choose your tags. Now important to know is that these here are all, so we will use the all pages trigger to trigger our Google AdWords remarketing tag. Let's take a look at a live example. So here we are in our demo store and all we need to do to deploy it, we need to have Google Tag Manager installed. Then we can head over to our Google Tag Manager account. We click on new tag. We want to deploy a Google AdWords.